please come to our aid. Please help us. We are Liberians. We are refugees who doesn't have ID. We want you to please help us. Whatever means, but do nothing. Whatever means you think you can help us, please help us. If you don't come to our aid, we don't know what will become of us. Please, in the name of God, please, in the name of Jesus, come to our aid. Help us. We are refugees. We are human like you. Please come to our aid. Please help us. We are women. We are children. We are men. We are old. We are young. We don't have school fees to go back to school. We want to go home. We want to do something with our lives. We are tired of living like this. We are, we are limited. We want to be free. We want to go back home. My name is Keith Kotu. And I've lived in this place since 1990 as a refugee. I've also worked on this settlement since 2005 as a social worker. The Budibrum Refugee Camp was established in 1990 to host Liberian refugees fleeing the war in Liberia that started in 1990. Since 1990 to present, there have been more than 60,000 Liberians who fled the Liberian Civil War. Some of these refugees lost their parents, lost, lost their entire relatives. Some of these refugees got raped, defiled, sodomized, and you name it. Unfortunately, unfortunately, Amongst the 60,000 plus refugees or Liberian fleeing the Liberian Civil War to Ghana, the UNCR was only able to register 43,000 refugees, meaning that some of these refugees, even though lived in Ghana since 1990, 1991, 1992, but did not live on the Budibu refugee camp because they had to go down to other Ghanaian villages doing all jobs to end the living. Unfortunately, in 2003, when the ID card, the UNSCR identification cards were being issued, some of these people were not around. Either were not around or came late. And so, up to this time, they have not been able to obtain a UNSCR ID card. Unfortunately, this means that once you don't have the UNSCR ID card, you tend not to benefit anything, get any assistance or any support from UNSCR. Liberians have lived here since 1990 on the Budiburu refugee camp in the Gomwa region in Ghana. Fortunately and unfortunately, I say, uh, the cessation, refugees are going to cease to be refugees come this June 2012, June 30th. June 30th of this 2012, every refugee that fled, that left Liberia and have lived in Ghana as a refugee ceased to be refugee. The cessation is going to be evoked in June 30th, 2012. I say unfortunately again, UNCR is sponsoring, is having, is sponsoring a voluntary repatriation that only affects those with ID cards. Those who have ID cards almost uh, almost um, a bit lower than those without ID cards. Why? Because more people came from Liberia, more people fled the war, more people were able to arrive finally in Ghana from Liberia after June 2003 when the ID cards were issued and were not fortunate, have not been fortunate enough to have a second round or enjoy a second round of the ID card process, leaving them 
with no UNSC ID card. What is going to happen is that this June 30th, the cessation of refugee is going to be evoked. No one is going to be a refugee in Ghana. Those with the UNSC ID card are going to be helped. You have two options according to UNSCR and the government of Ghana. One option is you either register and be repatriated back to your country, Liberia, our country. The second option is that you either opt for local integration, which according to UNSCR and the government, government up to this time has not even consented to local integration. So we don't even know whether and what's the package, what's the policy regarding the local integration. Those without the UNHCR ID card are going to be left out of this whole process. They are not going to be helped in any way. We have talked with the UN, we have asked the UN, and the UN is continuing to say that as long as they do not have the, the names of these people, approximately 3,500 Liberian refugees on this refugee camp. As long as they do not have a database or these people do not have the UNSCR ID card, they are not going to be helped. They are, considered, they are not considered refugees. In this manner, refugees, I want to say safely, these people are frustrated. This has brought frustration upon these people. Approximately 3,500 of these people without ID cards that the Ghanaian government have said plainly that they are not regularize the status in Ghana here, which is very expensive, or leave Ghana because living in Ghana without an ID card, especially when there will be no refugee here, you will be living illegally. And legal action will be taken against such people. This has left thousands of people, 3,000, approximately 3,500 people to worry. Worry about how they can be repatriated back to Liberia. We've come together as a family, as concerned people, as social workers, as humanitarians, as brothers and sisters. And uh, we've registered already just in four or five days time we have registered a lot of these people they are coming every day to our center here for registration they are asking us every day to find means by which they can be repatriated to liberia if you look at the situation in camp you find out that the number of refugees have drastically reduced we have at least 3,500 Liberian refugees who do not have identity cards. We want to go home. And for us to go home, meaning we need assistance for us to go home. I'll give you another scenario. They have started marking houses where Liberians live. That tells you that at the end of June 30th, Liberians residing on the camp, their security is going to be very desperate. The situation is going to be very hard. That psychological effect is going to play with them and I can, if, I can tell the world as we speak today that if we are not out of here come June 30th, who no God knows what could be the next result. We have been suffering here. We have to sell greens, pick up plastics before we can even buy food for our children. When we are sick, it's not easy for us to even get treated. People die from that, especially those who don't have ID. And since 2003, they came here and they said they wanted to give ID they went, they would have come back to we who don't have, they never show up. So we have been suffering for that. And furthermore, we need help to go home. We have to go cater to our people back home to help build our country. So we need help all over the world, my people. We need help from you people. We are tired of suffering. We have stay here and we are old. We don't want to stay here no more. Come June 30th, we are going to be at risk. So we need your help. All over the entire world, we need help from people. Um, as I said earlier, these are the list of 3,400 people who have come to this place. 3,500 approximately people who have queued up to this center 
these are categories of people, refugees who do not have the UNHCR ID card. We have registered approximately 3,500 of these refugees in the center. And these refugees are appealing to you there, to the international community, to friends, to philanthropics, to individuals, to the Christian community, the, the Muslim community, to organizations, and whoever that will be hearing my voice, I'm speaking on their behalf, that we are appealing that you, know, you find reasons, you see reasons to please help, contribute, to repatriating these people back to Liberia. We really want to get out of here immediately. We are afraid. Even when you are at home, you are afraid. You fear that someone will come and break through your house and put you out. So we beg, we need help. We want to go home. We want donors, humanitarian to come or individuals. Please, we beg. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you look at child like this, they're going to child, what will be the future of this kind of child? If we stay here, we get and nobody to care of us. And the people in the It's not easy for us. We are suffering. I'm saying it from my heart. So we are appealing to people overseas on behalf of Liberian refugees who will go out the car to come to our rescue.